In this video, I would like to show how you can make a swipe menu or swipe navigation. As you can see here, I have opened uh, Jenny Motion, and uh, I would <coughs> I have a page indicator here in the bottom, and I have a swipe uh, uh, fields swipe recognition field down here. And uh, you can also use the buttons in in the side here to navigate. So I'll show you how I've made this. I've made a new project here called Page Indicator. And uh, <clears throat> I make a, a layout with a horizontal arrangement in the top here and one below. And uh, this one I make uh, fill parent and fill parent also there. And I center the content. And inside here I only put a, a label to to show which side I'm on or which page page one. And I make my <coughs> my page a uh, screen. Uh, I delete the show status bar and I delete the title visible. And I set the uh, open screen animation to slide horizontal and also the close screen animation to slide horizontal. So when I swipe, uh, it will look. Uh, uh, the right way. This one down here I set width to fill parent and I, down here I put a button in in the left corner and a button in the right corner and in between I put a canvas so the canvas will uh, function as a swipe recognition uh, field. This button I Make like a Chevron or what it's called. I'll make this a little bigger here. And um, no background color. And this one I make the other way. And also no background color here. And this one I Give the width of fill parents and the color background color none and uh, the height fill parent. So okay. Uh, actually, in the first page, this one will not be visible. Uh, so I uncheck uh, enable here and I set the text color to none. In this way, I will, this one will, my canvas will be centered. Uh, uh, so when I put uh, the page indicators inside here, uh, the content will be centered too. Okay, <coughs> this was uh, my first page, and uh, I'll just make uh, two more pages. Um, so I'll just pause the video here. Okay, <clears throat> now I've made uh, all three pages here. Uh, page two here, with uh, two buttons and uh, canvas in between. And page three here, also with a button here, uh, and canvas, and an invisible button uh, in the right corner here. So you can put uh, more uh, pages uh, if you like. So. Now I'll go into the blog editor. I start with uh, screen one here, and uh, what I would like to to make is, uh, if you look down here, I would like to have uh, three uh, bullets down here, um, which indicates which page we're on. So I make this uh, by using the drawing uh, engine in the canvas. 
and I've already made the blocks in the new uh, backpack feature here, so um, I <coughs> drag them in. The first thing I, I define here is an init uh, global variable called uh, y1, and I also have uh, x1 here. So this will be my uh, center coordinates of my uh, bullets. And I also uh, initialize an offset to make the following bullets. So, and I <coughs> initialize a global radius, uh, which I set to five here. And then um, when you start, I set the global offset here to uh, three times the, the global radius. So uh, you can <coughs> you can uh, make the um, distance between the bullets larger if you put a larger number here. Then I, I make a procedure which I call draw all paid indicators. So I'll find this over here. I have here. And this one um, First it clears the canvas uh, and then it defines the center of um, x1 and it's uh, um, calculated from the width of the canvas uh, divided by 2 and also the, um, the center of the uh, y1 here I divide the height of uh, the canvas with 2 and uh, then I draw um, three uh, bullets, one uh, with black and the two others is uh, grayed out. So um, the first one, or the, the middle one is in right in the center and the left one I withdraw the offset here and in the sec third one I um, add the offset to the x uh, value. And uh, I've made another uh, procedure where I put in X and Y and the color and I call this draw individual page indicators. So I fetch this one here. It's this one. And uh, here I get my X and Y and the color. And uh, first I make the canvas paint color to uh, the, the value here. And then I call the canvas draw circle uh, procedure and I make the x center x to x and center y to y and the radius I uh, fetch the global radius and I set the field to true so we have a field circle. Um, and uh, when the screen initializes I draw all the page uh, indicators but I also would like to uh, draw them when the screen orientation changes. So I've made this uh, uh, event handle here where I also call my uh, uh, draw all page indicators. So and uh, I have to uh, to make a procedure uh, uh, what's called an event handle on the button one click and I uh, open the screen name screen to. I also make a swipe recognizer on the canvas so I will know when uh, I swipe to uh, to the left. You see here if, uh, if the heading is larger than uh, 90 I know the swipe is to the left and then I'll open another screen with screen name uh, 2. So this is uh, procedures and uh, event handlers on the first page or first screen. And uh, I, I make the same in the uh, second screen uh, except I also have to uh, recognize the uh, swipe to the other side. And the buttons uh, should also um, uh, make it possible to go back. So this, uh, um, I put in the blocks here, I'll just pause the video and uh, I'll catch up when I've made the uh, changes. Okay, here 
you can see I put in the, the all the new blocks here. I made the button one click, so I close the screen. So I'll go back if you see here. <coughs> When I click this, I go back, and when I click this, I should go to page 3. So here in button 2 click, I'll write in screen uh, screen 3 here. And then I have to change this uh, canvas one flung uh, to have an else function. So I put in an else here, and then I'll uh, put in the close screen here as well. So when I uh, swipe to the left, I'll go to screen 3, I have to type screen 3 here, and when I swipe to the right, I close the screen and go to uh, screen 1. Okay, and uh, then I only have to make uh, the last... Uh, the last screen. Okay, you can see here I'm, I've used uh, the, the the backpack, and when you draw uh, copy uh, blocks in, you have to be aware to change the the screen here. If it's this one, so this is for screen two. But uh, I'll just pause the video, and then I'll be back with the demo. Okay, I'm back, and on screen 3 I've uh, made the same uh, blocks here, only in canvas uh, flung here, I've disabled this open block. Uh, so if you put in another, sc uh, another screen, uh, you can uh, just uh, fill in with the screen name here, else I close the screen here. And the last thing I have to change is the page indicator colors, so this uh, should indicate that we are on page 3. So I just uh, shift these two here, and I have to to make the same change on the screen two, where the middle one should be black. So I just shift these two here. So hopefully we are now able to uh, to navigate our app. So let's see here in uh, in the emulator. I think I have to restart the emulator. I can see it's not uh, responding, so just a moment. I'll pause the video and I'll be back with the demo shortly. Okay, the emulator has started now and uh, I'm on page 3 here and you can see the page indicator is telling us uh, we are on page 3 and uh, now I would like to swipe back, so I swipe to the right and um, slowly the emulator uh, will uh, show page 2 here with a, a black dot in the middle and uh, I can swipe one more time to the, to the right and I'll go to uh, screen 1, page 1 here. So this is uh, a nice way to indicate which page you're on and uh, hopefully you can uh, have um, uh, fun with this uh, little tutorial so uh, please use uh, blocks if you like and uh, thank you bye I don't know why this uh, button does not work but uh, the flung seems to work so I just have to check the button one here uh, thank you